welcome to our Silly Season Sweat Session. I'm Nicole. Today we're going to just be focusing on a nice restorative stretch. So all you're going to need for today's session is a mat and a space to move. You're going to start off on your mat. Legs are nice and wide. Toes turned out slightly. We're going to start off by coming into just a little bit of lateral flexion from side to side. Start off by focusing on engaging through the core, relaxing the shoulders and the neck. And we're just flexing from one side to the other. Try to keep your pelvis nice and stable. So you can see my hips are staying centered. They're not moving. I'm focusing on flexing at the waist. Hands are just reaching long down by the sides. If you're feeling comfortable too, you can start to take arms overhead. Get a little bit deeper into your stretches here. Make sure you're breathing. We're going to do one more to the side then from here you're going to come back to center for me we're going to roll ourselves down towards the mat you can walk the feet heel toe heel toe a little bit wider than your hips and turn your feet to face the front of your space you're going to start to feel a stretch coming through your inner th thigh through the back of your legs and your hamstrings possibly up the secondary muscles of the calves on the outside of the ankles if you're feeling comfortable here you can see if you can go a little bit deeper into your stretch. Trying to bring the elbows and forearms down onto the mat. Again, feeling stretch hamstrings, inner thighs, calves. You can even start to invert your head to look between the legs. Walking the arms out to the side, relaxing head, neck and shoulders. deep breathing. I'm going to bring my hands back to the center and we're going to start to move very gently from side to side here. Just loosening up on the inner thighs. You can see I'm just adjusting my feet to get into a more comfortable position. You should feel free to do so as well. From here we're going to bring ourselves into a nice deep hip flexor stretch. If you're somebody who struggles with your knees, feel free to grab a hold of the cushion put underneath your knee and roll up your mat underneath your knee. I'm going to come over to the one side. I'm going to walk my hands over to my lunged leg, drop the back knee. I'm going to stay in this hip flexor stretch. Again, okay, just focusing on keeping my core tight, pulling belly button to spine, squeezing the glutes, opening my chest. Yeah, I'm going to bring myself into a side stretch. I'm going to tuck my back toes, lift the back knee, turn myself back to the front. I'm going to bring my bent leg down into kneeling. I'm going to roll myself up. Arms reach out to a T. I'm going to flex over to the side, reaching that arm overhead. And you can go as deep in the stretch as is comfortable for you. So if you want to walk your leg out, a little bit deeper into the inner thigh stretch, into the groin stretch, you can. You want to offload a little bit and bring your leg in. Focus more on stretching through the side. You can. I then want you to turn your palm up to face the ceiling. Externally rotating in that shoulder. You can open the chest. And then we're going to turn the palm down. I'm going to close my chest. I'm going to flex forward, reaching the fingertips down onto the floor. And walk, walk, walk those fingers away. I feel the stretch coming all the way through the side of my body. And then I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring myself back up. I'm going to pivot myself around here to face the opposite direction and lunge into that leg. Again, back toes are released. I'm leaning deep into the stretch. Squeezing my glutes, keeping belly button to spine. Offload a little bit, you're welcome to. Feel like you can go a bit deeper. Then just make sure you're keeping your core connection. Then from here, once again, going into my side stretch, I'm going to bring myself back. I'm going to turn myself to face the side, bringing it down to kneel on my bent leg. I'm going to roll myself up, arms out to a T. I'm going to flex over to the side, reaching my arm overhead.
you guys can hold as long as is comfortable for you if you want to pause the video or hold your stretch for a little bit longer you're more than welcome to again i'm going to externally rotate turning my palm to the ceiling i'm going to open my chest I'm going to turn my palm back to face the floor. I'm going to flex in the torso, reaching my hand down towards the mat. And I try to walk my fingers away, getting a nice deep stretch all the way down the side of my body. And again from here, I'm going to bring it back all the way back up. You can tuck your knees underneath. We're gonna press back into a child's pose. From here, we're gonna bring ourselves back towards four point kneeling. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Bring your toes together and your knees apart. We're gonna go into a thread the needle. Nice big inhale, one arm reaches out to the side. On your exhale, we're gonna come through, try to get your shoulder down onto the mat, twist in the spine. Bring it all the way back, arm reaches to the ceiling. Four more times, we bring it through. Shoulder goes all the way down onto the mat. We bring it back and up to the ceiling. For three more, really trying to mobilize that upper back. You bring it all the way up. Two more. Down. Really trying to get onto the top of that shoulder. And all the way up. One more. One more. Bring it all the way down. And hold the stretcher. Rest your head, neck, and shoulders. If you want, take the opposite arm up. Give me a chicken wing. Bringing that hand behind your back. No weight in the head and the neck. You should be relaxed. You should be pressing with your bottom arm. Get deeper into that rotation. So bring the arm back, down onto the mat. Back to four point kneeling. Let's repeat on the opposite side. Arm goes out. We rotate, thread the needle through and under, and we twist. Inhale to bring it back and up to the seat. For four more, we twist. And bring it back. For three. And really work deep into that stretch. And back to the end. For two. Yes. And bring it back to the ceiling. One more, one more, one more. Hold it here. Resting on your shoulders, relaxing the head and the neck. Opposite arm goes up to the ceiling. Return. Give me that chicken wing. Into this. And then to release. You're going to bring that arm back down onto the mat. And back to full point kneeling. From here, we're going to cross our legs, bringing ourselves over onto our buttocks. I'm going to turn to face you guys. I'm going to bring myself into a half lotus here. So I'm going to have one foot crossed on top. If this range is not good for you, just cross the one leg to the front. We're going to lace the fingers, press the hands away, lift those arms up to the ceiling. Give me a nice big inhale. And on your exhale, you can fold forward and stretch. We're going to roll it up nice, slow and controlled. You're going to take your top leg, either stepping it in front of your bent bottom leg or across. We're then going to twist towards that leg. Bring it back to center. We switch to the opposite side, changing the legs over. One leg either crossed on top or in front. We lace the fingers, we press away. We lift those arms up. Nice deep inhale. 
on your exhale, we're going to fold forward. We can warm it up. Again, we're going to take our top leg, either stepping it to the front of our bent leg or crossing it over completely. We grab a hold of that leg and we twist a little bit towards the Feeling that stretch all the way through your hip, up through your back, towards the shoulder. And you can bring it back to the center. And you guys can smile. And I hope you enjoyed.